So these are the next set of problems. So let's describe the solutions. So the first question, if these numbers, three plus K, 18 minus K, five K plus one are terms of an AP, then find K. So we have to understand that terms of APs are governed by the rule that the difference between any two consecutive terms is always a constant. So in this case, uh, this is our first term, this is our second term, and this one is our third term. So since this is an AP, so the difference T2 minus T1 must be the same as T3 minus T2. So T2 minus T1 means 18 minus K minus three plus K, which is the same as 18 minus K minus three minus K, which is the same as 15 minus two K. And then T3 minus T2, this means we'll have 5K plus one minus 18 minus K. So which is 5K plus one minus 18 plus K. 5K plus K is 6K. 1 minus 18 is minus 17. So because the terms are forming, or these are consecutive terms of an AP, then this implies 15 minus 2K to the same as 6K minus 17. Collecting like terms will have minus 2K minus 6K equals to minus 17 minus 15. So this will give us minus 8K equals to minus 32. And then to get K, we'll have minus 32 over minus eight, which gives us four. And then next question is the ratio of the sixth and eighth terms of an AP seven to nine, find the, ra find the ratio of ninth term to 13th term. So sixth to eighth term is given by seven to nine. We know that for an AP, any general term is given by A plus N minus one D. So when we say sixth term, we'll have A plus six, minus one times D, which will be A plus five D. Eighth term will mean A plus eight minus one times D, which is A plus seven D. And so this means that T six to T eight will be A plus five D over A plus 7D. So uh, T6 to T8 will be A plus 5D to A plus 7D. 
So we should be the same as seven to nine. Cross multiplying, we'll have nine into a plus five D equals to seven into a plus seven D. So which means nine A plus 45D equals to 7A plus 49D. Collect like terms, 9A minus 7D, uh, 7A equals to 49D minus 45D. 9 minus 7 is <coughs> 2A equals to 4D. So which means A will be the same as 2D. Call this one equation one. Then the ninth term is A plus nine minus one D, which is A plus eight D. Thirteenth term would be A plus 13 minus one times D, which is A plus 12 D. So, which means the ninth, ninth term to 13th term will be A plus eight D over A plus 12 D using one, We get one means where this a put two d t nine over t thirteen will be two d plus eight d over two d plus twelve d. This will be ten d over fourteen d, and then d and d cancels out. So D, D cancels out, two here five, two into 14, seven. So this will be five over seven. Hence, T9 to T13 is equals to five to seven. So the ratio of the ninth term to 13th term would be given by five to seven. So the next three, the sum of three consecutive terms of an AP is 27 and their product is 288. Find the three terms. So let the terms B, A, A plus D, and A plus 2D. Here are the terms of the AP. So when we add them, A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D, this will give us 27. So this will be 3A plus 3D equals to 27 which means if I divide through by A, I'll get A, uh, if I divide through by D, uh, three, I get A plus D equals to nine. So call this one equation one. Also the product is 288. So if I take A times A plus D times A plus two D, I get 288. So I'll have A squared plus AD, or in fact, uh, because from the first equation, where there's A plus D I can replace by nine, I can easily write this one as, a times nine, which is nine A, uh, 
I did So A times nine times A plus two D equals to 288. And then I can write this one as nine A into A plus D plus D equals to 288. So which is nine A into where there's A plus D from equation one, I put nine plus D equals to 288 so that I'll have, if I divide through by nine, so 288 divided by nine gives me 288 divided by nine, 32. So I'll have A into 9 plus D equals to 32. So 9A plus AD equals to 32. Now from equation 1, I can say D is the same as 9 minus A. So I'll have 9a plus a into 9 minus a equals to 32. So that I have 9a plus 9a minus a squared equals to 32. So I'll have minus a squared plus 18a minus 32 equals to zero. Divide through by minus one, I get a squared minus 18a plus 32 equals to zero. So sum is minus 18, product is 32. So numbers minus two, minus 16, so I'll have a squared minus 2a minus 16a plus 32 equals to zero. So do the pairing, a into a minus two minus 16 into a minus two equals to zero. So I get a minus 16 times a minus two equals to zero. So which means A equals to two or A equals to 16. So when A is two, D will be nine minus two, which is seven. And when A is 16, D will be nine minus 16, which is minus seven. So therefore, uh, if A is two and D is seven, the terms are two, two plus seven is nine, nine plus seven is 16. And the next case is if A is 16, and D is minus seven, the terms are 16, 16 plus minus seven, we get nine, nine plus minus seven, we get two. So those are the set of three possible consecutive terms of an AP such that the product is 288 and sum is 27. So that is, the solution to that particular problem. So find x if x plus six, x plus 12, 
x plus 15 are consecutive terms of a geometric progression. So we have x plus 6, x plus 12, and x plus 15. We have to find the value of x given that these are three terms of consecutive, uh, three consecutive terms of a GP. So if these are terms of the GP and they're consecutive, so for example, I can call this T1, this T2, this T3 without loss of generality. So this being a GP means if I take second term over the first term, I should get the third term over the second term. So which means if I have X plus 12, I divide by X plus six, I should get X plus 15 divided by X plus 12. Then you cross multiply X plus 12 times X plus 12 equals to X plus six times X plus 15. So this would be X squared X by 12 is 12 X, 12 by X is 12 X, 12 by 12 is 144. X by X is X squared, X by 15 is 15 X, X plus six times six is six X, six by 15 is 90. So from this, we clearly see that uh, X squared cancels out. So 12 plus 12 is 24, X plus 144, 15 plus six is 21 X plus 90. Then you collect like terms. So I'll have 24 X minus 21 X equals to 90 minus 144. And 90 minus 144 gives minus 54. So I'll have three X equals to minus 54. So to get X, we divide through by three, which will give us negative 18. So the value of X is negative 18. And lastly, find the 10th term of a GP whose 8th term is 768 and the common ratio is two. So let's check the solution for that. So I've been told that um, the eighth term is 768 and common ratio is two, and these are GP. So for a GP, we know that nth term is given by A, R is for n minus one. So when you say eighth term, we mean a raised power, a r raised power eight minus one, which will be a r raised power seven. Then we claim that this should be 768. So Given further that R is two, then this implies that A two power seven equals to 768. So which means A is 768 over two power seven and 768 divide two power seven gives us six. So the first term of the GP is six. So when we have to get the 10th term, which will be A R raised power 10 minus one, A R raised power nine. So it should be six times two power nine, which is six times two power nine is given by 512 multiplied by six, I get 
30, 72. So this will be 30, 72. So that is the solution to the fifth problem.